Hey guys, Ivan here and in today's video we got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates and we are starting with Hari Japan at 20% I guess of his prep of his look that he's trying to achieve for this year's Mr. Olympia. Now as far as the Mr. Olympia, who is the favorite to win this show this year? Yeah, I gotta say, it, it's gotta be Hari Japan. I think everybody thinks that, especially after seeing what he looked like at the Arnold Classic stage. That look was one of the best looks of all bodybuilders, probably in the past five years, at least. And I think he's gonna bring something similar, if not better, to the Mr. Olympia stage. Now, you guys know that I'm a fan of, you know, taller physiques, so I, I would like to see Samson win it. But I can't deny Hari, I can't deny that he's not the favorite. And this is what he looks like right now, as I said, at 20%, as he says, 20%, and, and also at 15 weeks out of Mr. Olympia. So his conditioning at 15 weeks out is already better than it was a couple of weeks ago. So he's already working on getting leaner. I don't think Derek Lansford, for example, sharpened up that much in the past couple of weeks. And Hadi is already getting a lot harder, you know, every week. And if you guys remember, in his prep for the Arnold Classic, he was also really shredded, like, ahead of time. It was, it was strange that he was so freaking lean. Yeah, he competed recently before that at the Mr. Olympia, but other guys who competed at the Mr. Olympia and also the Arnold Classic, they kind of fell out of shape and then they were, like, getting leaner a little bit later. But Hadi, I mean, he also got a little bit relaxed, like, two months after the Mr. Olympia. He did get a little bit, you know, softer, but only for maybe two months, if not less. He was already very conditioned the 15 weeks out of Arnold Classic as he is right now, 15 weeks out of Mr. Olympia. And I think he is driven like nobody else. Because, you know, he won the Mr. Olympia two years ago and they built him a statue in Iran. They're looking at him as a god. And then he loses the Mr. Olympia. And then he came back with two engines at the Arnold Classic. And I think he's coming back stronger than ever at the Mr. Olympia. And he is most likely going to win it. Look, you can argue and you can say that Hadi deserved to win last year's Mr. Olympia, that he was robbed, that Derek's shape and just the back weren't enough to grant him the victory, because Hadi did look better from the front and, like, in the most poses, basically, overall, but... And they only gave it to Derek because he would be a better ambassador for the sport, but you can't argue one thing. Hadi was not at his best at that show. And even if they let Derek win because of politics, still, Hadi left the door open. He let them do that. This year, if he doesn't want the same thing to happen, he needs to close the gap. He needs to be so much better than Derek. Can he do it? Can he pull it off? We need to consider two things. Did Derek Lansford really make progress? Is he gonna look a lot better at a 2024 Mr. Olympia, did he progress? Did he really get bigger, better, or something like that? I mean, honestly, for me personally, I don't think he did. I don't think his physique changed much. A good thing is that he probably didn't blow out his midsection. He will still have nice shape, and maybe they didn't push the gear a lot in the offseason, so they're waiting for the prep to really push things hard, so he can get, you know, harder than last year, but with the same size. Will there be improvements? There is a possibility, but I doubt that they're gonna be drastic. Maybe I'm wrong, we'll see. And the other thing we gotta consider is whether Hadi can bring the same conditioning he brought to the Arnold Classic stage, or even better. And I think he absolutely will bring at least the same conditioning, if not overall improved package, if possible. I don't know if it is possible for him at this point in his career to make more improvements, but even if he brings the same package, he's probably going to win the Mr. Olympia, reclaim his Mr. Olympia title, do something that only Jake Cutler did once in history of Mr. Olympia. But we'll see, maybe Derek brings something crazy, something better, and we have a battle. I don't know, I don't know, maybe somebody else, you know, improves so much, like Samson or Nick Walker, and they take the win. But as of right now, I would say Hari Japan is still the favorite to win the Mr. Olympia title. Even though he is not the defending champion, he, is, uh, he lost last year, he needs to beat Derek, but I think he can do it. And I think he looks great, in great shape at 15 weeks out. What do you guys think? Tell me down below.
Alright, next up we got a physique update of William Bonac at a guest posing And yeah, this is not from a show, this is just guest posing How the hell is he maintaining this kind of dryness? Did he do a peak week for this guest posing? Or is he just, you know, this dry all the time? I don't know, I mean, he is basically in contest condition Maybe a little bit like 5-10% softer than Emperor Cup Spain but I don't know if that much, like he is very, very shredded, look at the lines in the lats and in the glutes, he is very, very dry, very lean, and actually he looks, I would say he arguably looks not better, but maybe like a little bit fuller, which kind of makes his physique look a little bit more fresh. But does he look like the old Bonnet that was placing second at the Mr. Olympia that was winning Arnold Classic? No, no, he is not looking that good. And I gotta give him one thing. He definitely does look a lot better on stage than he does in his uh, physique updates on Instagram. But still, even on stage, you can see a lot of the issues that were visible in his physique updates. For example, this right here, look at the right lat compared to the left one. Like that one side of the back is definitely a lot smaller. The arms lost their volume. He's not as big as he was before. But for a 42, not 45, 42 years old bodybuilder who came back from retirement who was looking like he was, you know, fading away and like he looked like he was never gonna win another pro show again he definitely did come back successfully however, with a physique like this at a Mr. Olympia his flaws are gonna be definitely way more exposed so I don't have him, you know, higher than top 10 at a Mr. Olympia but uh, yeah, I mean, this physique update, he looks amazing and uh, he's competing soon, in one week at the Portugal Pro I don't know who else is doing that show, maybe Nathan Diasha, hopefully Nathan Diasha, but I don't know, as of right now, he's the only heavy hitter doing that show, but we'll see, I guess, I hope somebody big will jump in and give Bonac run for his money, if nobody else, as far as the big name guy shows up, I mean, William Bonac is gonna win another show, and it looks like he's going to do it, what do you guys think, tell me down below. Now, Portugal Pro, it might be a weaker show, but Vancouver Pro show, in two weeks from now, is gonna be very very good, we have a lot of guys, we're gonna have a really good top 5, top 6 you guys know that John Jewett is doing it, Hassan Mustafa as well, maybe Quinton Raya but we also have Beef Stew jumping in is Beef Stew gonna beat John Jewett and Hassan Mustafa? I think so, most likely, unless Hassan really improved his conditioning I mean this guy is also, like he was a fourth at the New York Pro yeah, he kind of failed the California Pro, but that was that was very weird. I think at Vancouver Pro, he's actually probably one of the favorites to win that show. And if he fixes his hair, if he gets it you know nice and tidy, he has even bigger chances. If you ask me, I think the hair is definitely hurting him. And I have to mention this, not just because it's not a very clean look and it's distracting and so on. It's also because like if his head is this big because of his hair, everything else looks smaller in comparison. So it's ruining his proportions. Even though Tyler Mannion told him it's not an issue, I think he's just not gonna say it, but it actually is. But even if he doesn't fix the hair, I still think he has a good chance of winning this show. But we'll see. We also have a Stanimal doing that show as well. And he is looking absolutely shredded, I mean, see-through, as uh, Patrick Tour likes to say. So he's definitely very, very conditioned. He actually stayed in really good condition the entire off-season. And for that reason, I'm kind of worried, did he really grow? Did he get bigger? Because that was the only issue with him last year. I mean, this guy, he was a man's physique competitor, then classic physique, then 212, and he's now an open guy. And he almost won a pro show last year. He placed second last year at Vancouver Pro. He was beaten by Hassan Mustafa, who was obviously a lot, a lot bigger. But in his usual conditioning, when he's on, this is on for Hassan Mustafa. Uh, this year he was in his off-season on stage, I don't know why he showed up looking like that, he was fat, it wasn't water, it was simply a lot of a lot of fat, like it was probably a lot more fat than a lot of these pro bodybuilders have in their off-season, and he showed up looking like that, so he placed 6th at, uh, at, at Toronto Pro, and uh, last year Hassan was actually in a very good shape, not a very good shape, but like for his standards this was on, he was on, and it was enough against uh, Stanimal because he's that much bigger.
So the only issue Stanimal really has is size. I mean, it's a big issue, right? He comes in very, very shredded. Look at his condition. This was crazy. And some people even had him winning this show because he was so shredded. But I definitely didn't see it that way. Hassan was just definitely a lot bigger. Stanimal looked like a classy guy next to Hassan. And this year, Stanimal is going to have a lot of other big guys to battle against. Like Beef Stew, like John Jewett, like maybe Quinton Araya, uh, Hassan Mustafa again. Maybe somebody else too. But did he make progress? Did he actually get bigger? I mean, maybe a little bit, but I don't think he's massive right now. He still needs to put on more muscle in order to be as big as the other guys I just mentioned. So he's definitely not going to be the biggest guy, but maybe he's going to be big enough with good enough conditioning. He's going to be the most ripped guy on that stage. I think he's going to be the leanest for sure. So maybe he surprises us all. But even if that doesn't happen, it's still going to be very interesting to see him on that stage. It's going to be a great Vancouver Pro. And one week after the Vancouver Pro, so three weeks from now, we're going to have Chicago Pro. And this is one of the guys who's going to do the Chicago Pro. I don't know who else is doing it. Maybe Mo Fuda is going to do it. But Vlad Sukharuchko is doing it for sure. And this is what he looks like right now. And in this physique update... Like, in majority of his physique updates on Instagram, he looks like he is winning the Mr. Olympia. But on the stage, it's always, like, a much, much different story. He never looked as good on stage as he did in his Instagram photos. So I don't know if it is, like, some kind of a Photoshop he's doing, or is it simply that he can't peak for the stage? I don't know, but, like, maybe something will change this year. Maybe this year he's actually gonna look good on stage, too. I don't know. But I wouldn't be hoping for it. I mean, I don't know. At this point, I lost the hope. But look at his physique updates. This is looking nuts. Like, he's massive. He, uh, he looks shredded. Look at the glute lines and the hamstrings and the quad as well. And, like, shoulders. Everything is just very lean, very big, very full. Like, there were some issues with him on stage. Like, he had the visible oil in his shoulders and lats and so on. So, hopefully, he fixed that at least. Hopefully he will be dry on that stage, dry and full, and hopefully look nearly as good as he does in his Instagram photos. Anyways, guys, tell me down below what do you think. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more content like this, guys, subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. See you soon. All the best, and bye-bye.